What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it was just a small thing where we were battling a trainer, and then we were capturing Ralts and showing you guys how to capture Pokemon. Yes, I know, it was a lame, lame, lame of excuse of a second episode, but hey, you know, we're gonna go through the Petalburg Woods, and we're gonna be adventuring and all that stuff. Now, if you talk to this kid right here, what does he say? Sometimes there are things you can't, on the ground that you can't see them. That's why I always check here while I'm walking. Okay. Now, off screen, I did capture some more Pokemon. May have leveled my Pokemon just a little bit more. Again, who needs cheat codes in this game when they really, really make made the levels so easy to, to obtain and all that stuff? Now, I'm going to grab this item right here. And here we found ourselves another Pokeball, which is always good. Alrighty, so now let's go back and uh, continue our adventure right here in the Petalburg Woods. In the last episode, we actually caught ourselves both Gaia's, Gaia number one and Gaia number two. And already, I've already let you guys know that, yeah, I'm going to be using Gaia number one for this whole walkthrough right here. Maybe going to be using Gaia two eventually. And any Pokemon uh, that appears even once in battle is awarded experience points. To raise weak Pokemon, put it on the top of the list. Okay, alrighty. I've already learned that, but luckily for us, Gaia finally learned its confusion attack early, so don't really need a switch train or anything like that. So here we go. We're gonna be going up against Bug Catcher Lyle, and he's gonna be coming out with his Wurmple. Now, bug types are strong against psychic types, but luckily for us, Gaia does have a secondary uh a secondary typing, and that is what you might call it a fairy. And that's probably what we needed right there. A fairy type Pokemon right here. Again, the the team that I'm going to be creating right here, guys, well, in all honesty, it's going to be kind of like an all-star team right here. The team that I will be creating, they will all coincide with their, their typings. They're going to back each other up in some way or another, and uh, hopefully this team right here, you know, hopefully this team right here actually, uh, you know, uh, turns out to be great. And like I said, it, there's going to be different Pokemon that I'm going to be showcasing right here, guys. Again, in this game, it's real easy to actually train your Pokemon. Especially when you're catching a, po uh, a Pokemon right here. You're actually leveling up as well. So, for me, it's going to be easy to actually train Pokemon off screen, get Pokemon and all that stuff. I might be capturing Pokemon off screen as well. Or trading some, as you know, as we all know. But I will be leveling up Pokemon real easily. So, you know, it might not just be... Gaia right here, I might be switching it up to another Pokemon here and there, you know, that kind of stuff. And yes, I do have other Pokemon in the Pokemon Bank to actually, you know, bring in here, but we're gonna go with the main game Pokemon right now, and then after that, hopefully use some Pokemon that, you know, you've seen before. I don't know, Dracula, Aaliyah, I don't know, Sparky, that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna stay right here with Wurmple, or no, not with Wurmple, but with Gaia right now. Needs to learn how to battle for itself and all that crud. And uh, here comes Wurmple with its uh, string shot attack. Oh, poor Gaia. There we go. That's right. Confusion is getting a little stronger. And uh, normally, normally I'd be using a, uh, a Torchic for this one right here. And I'd be breezing through here. But I don't have a Torchic. And I kind of wanted to capture a Talo, but with a very cool move. That's something else that you can actually find right here. But... I wasn't going to waste enough time, guys. I got limited amount of time before I go uh, I go do other things right here. And look at that. Gaia number two, or Gaia, grows to level six. And it learned double team, which is great. And here, it's about to come out with the Wurmple. So let's go with Sage of the Halo and start destroying everybody. Alrighty, Sage. Let's get this. Let's do this for the bitches right here. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use that pound attack. Pound attack right here. Pound attack. And uh, good thing these worm wormples don't know any kind of like actual bug type move. So let's go with a quick attack. See if that actually does it. There we go. Nearly finishes him off. And uh, there we go again. Another quick, quick tackle attack, I should say. Isn't it a quick attack like a quick tackle? That's the same thing right there. So there we go. Defeated you. And how about that? My Pokemon are getting levels pretty good. Very, very good. Okay. Now, let's see. I, I was asked the question, 
if I was going to be trading Pokemon or anything like that, or, you know, doing any kind of uh, online battles or anything, or if you guys wanted my friend code, uh, that will all be answered right now. Yeah, uh, hold on. Hold on just a sec. There's an item right there. I want to grab that. And there it is, a paralysis heal. So, if you guys are looking for my friend code, it's down on the description. Real easy, guys. Uh, just try not to bug me while I'm doing uh, any kind of Pokemon walkthroughs right here, because that's ha that has happened before. Now, there's a Pokemon right here that we are going to find, and... Oh, it's uh, one of the shell Pokemon. Don't really want it. Usually, I cap I usually evolve the Wurmple, and then, uh, then capture the other Pokemon that I don't have. Now, as you can see... Here's the mad scientist that's been waiting for us, and we all know what kind of Pokemon the other guy comes out with, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's see what this guy has to say. Hmm, not one to be found. He's looking, oh, hello, have you seen any Pokemon called a Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, and he stepped all over the, sh oh, wow. I was going to capture that Taylor. You asshole. I was going to ambush you, but you you had to dawdle in the Petalburg uh, Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Oh, damn, and he just, like, really hides behind me, and he's like, Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? you you got to help me, please. Ah, oh, great. You know, I'm just as confused as you are, bud. But I can't let you ambush him or anything like that. Hmm. What are you gonna? What are you doing? What are you going to protect them? No one who crosses Team Mamma gets in any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. And he does his little pose. So here we go. Our very first battle against Team Magma. And it's a Team Magma grunt. And uh, again, I love the graphics too. To their introduction right here. As you see, as you can see, he does come out with a freaking Hoochiana, but it doesn't have a Thunderfang, huh? It doesn't. So let's go right ahead and just go with a quick attack. Yeah, buddy. Eat that quick attack. And it's a little strong one right there, so he's gonna be tackling us. As of right now, Sage is not really uh not, I can tell he's not a much of a physical attacker. It's okay. We, we got absorb attack right there, and uh look at that. And this guy right here is gonna just try and blind us. Okay, so here we go. Quick attack. Or no. Absorb. And uh, there you go. Eat that. Okay, alrighty. And there we go. Sage of the Halo wins another battle right here. And he's like, you're so strong. Why, yes, I am. And he's like, Grr. you got some nerve meddling with Team Magma. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Magma are also so after something at Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Wow, they, they really like to tell us their plans and stuff. He's like, whoa, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of uh, these important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. And we get ourselves the experience share, so now it's going to be super easy for us to just evolve Pokemon. So whatever, you, whatever Pokemon you capture, yeah, they're going to get some level ups right here. I had a strain of fiber on my brain and my body to develop this uh, device. Turn on the switch and uh, the battle experience will be shared by all Pokemon in the party. Please give it a try. And this, I will restore your Pokemon's health. It's another technical advance I'm proud of. And there we go. We are healed up. And he, let's see. Didn't Team Rocket Thug say that uh, we're, they, they were after something in Rustboro 2? Uh-oh. It's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Eh, well. You know, it is what it is. Okay, so before we do anything, I, I failed to, to check out our Pokemon right here on our team. Mainly because I'm super excited about this. So, as you can see, here is Sage of the Talo, or Sage of the Halo, not Talo, Trico, the grass-type Pokemon. And I believe, well, yeah, his special attack is a, its strong point. Uh, and, it's, it's a, well, its weakest point right there is its attack, its overgrow, and uh, what kind of mood it does it have? I don't even know. It's a sassy nature. Huh. Okay, and then... Uh, well, homeboy right here, Poochiana, has quick feet. Boosts the speed stat if the Pokemon has a status condition. Which is always great. Too bad I'm not really going to be using them. Eventually, I'm going to nickname a guy. And, uh, let's see. Ah, crud. This Zigzagoon doesn't have uh, pickup. It has gluttony. Okay, so... I don't know why I caught that guy. But as you can see right here, we got... Ralts, 
the or Gaia, the Ralts, and it's both a Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon. In this game, as we all know, it's a special uh, attacker and defenseman, and uh, well, it's a calm nature, so it's kind of finicky. I don't know what that means, but it's still a pretty good word right there. So let us move on and hopefully capture a Pokemon that actually do, does have pickup right here. Let's see, what does this guy have to say? Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and want to avoid battles, you should try, try and stay out of tall grass. Okay, thanks for the advice that I knew. All right, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Again, we're gonna try and get Gaia to level 10 right here. And uh, what do you have to say? If you take a bug Pokemon to school, you can you get instantly popular. Oh, wow. Is that what it is? Or I don't even know. So here we go, I'm battling Bug Catcher James, and he's coming out with his Ninkata. So this is a Pokemon that I cannot battle because it is actual an actual bug type Pokemon. And, uh, oh crud. Okay, so it's compound dies. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna go with the confusion and. Oh crud. Is that a scratch attack? Okay, there we go. And that wasn't as strong as I thought it was. So, let's go right ahead and <laughs> switch out our Pokemon. There's no need, there's no problem right there because we got the Inspirit Share right now. Thought we were gonna get some Pokeball, but. You know, Inspirit Share is always, is always well. And, uh,. Well, there's that leech life that we didn't want, but of course, we're still weak against it. And, uh, oh crud, it's healing up this Pokemon right here. So now, we're gonna have to be physical about this. And, uh, okay, he's gonna be scratching. Come on, Sage! Do it for the bitches. Let's go with the pound attack. Alrighty. And, uh, he's gonna go with the leech life, trying to heal itself. So right now, I picked the worst Pokemon out of the bunch to actually get me through this place. But then again, eventually, it's gonna it's gonna be okay. It's just, God, we gotta get past this place. And uh, here we go with another scratch attack. So let's go right again with another quick attack right here. And there we go. That was a critical hit. Say goodbye to Ninkata. That's right. And look at that. It grows to level 12. And luckily for us, we got the experience share now. And everybody else is getting some experience, like Zigzagoon right here. Normally, I'd be using Zigzagoon as a HM slave as well. There's been a lot of uh, Zigzagoons that I've evolved throughout the whole series right here. And here we found ourselves an Ether, which is a much needed item right there. And uh, well, let's see. I think that's pretty much it right here for this this whole area. So let's go right ahead and step outside and move on ahead. And uh, oh, would you look at that! This is Petalburg Rick, uh, Reckon, or this is the Petalburg Reckon t uh, Recon team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Miss Courtney. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investigating that energy we detected. Oh, this is something new. Kid sure had some promise as a trainer, I'd say. Oh wow. So that is something new right there. Something that they added for this whole adventure. And I'm, I'm actually very, very excited because, wow, it's a remake and <laughs> yeah, we can actually showcase it. Okay, so we're gonna stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we are gonna be going through this whole area plus Rust Pro City. And then uh, eventually we're gonna be battling a few other pro trainers. I don't know gym badge whatever i don't know but off screen i will be capturing some pokemon because we do need some extra pokemon right here so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time